Hello everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to move issues between projects within Jira. So the first step is that you're going to need the correct administrator permissions to be able to move these issues. And what you want to do is navigate to that issue. So we'll go ahead from the Your Work page, click on Projects, and you can click View All Projects. We'll go into this test project and here we have three test issues in the backlog. So there are two ways to move these issues between projects. I'm going to show you one way and then after I'll show you the other. The first is you'll navigate to the issue and click on it. You'll click the three dots at the top right and you'll hit move. And this will pull up Jiro's move wizard you'll select where you want it to move to. So in this case, we'll move it to the Moving Fields Test project from the Moving Fields Test 2 project. And it is currently a task, so we're going to keep it as a task. But if this issue type is custom and the issue type does not exist within the new project, you will have to select a new issue type. We'll go ahead and click Next. This talks about different field settings within the new and old projects and also tells you that component and version field data will be lost. Um, but all fields will be updated automatically. So we will go ahead and hit next again. And here we'll get kind of the overview. So we'll see we're moving from moving fields test to to moving fields test. And then the issue type is staying as task and the status is also staying in backlog. If we had custom statuses, this would also have to be changed. But for this case, we do not. So we'll go ahead and hit confirm. And it does it for us. And here's the test project in the moving fields test or the test issue within the moving fields test project. So that is one way to move individual issues. We'll see this is now the only issue within this project. I'm going to go ahead and show you another way that allows you to move bulk issues. So from the Your Work page or from the main screen, you can click Filters, Advanced Issue Search at the top, and you can go ahead and create a JQL either basic and put in what you need or you can write it in JQL. We'll go ahead and do it in basic, but we'll go moving fields test two is the project and we'll see that we have two tickets here. So you filter by the tickets that you want to move. So for me, it's just these two within this project. We'll go ahead and click uh, this button at the top right and hit bulk change all issues. And it'll say all two issues because currently we have two issues filtered. We'll click this and it'll say, choose which ones you want to do. So in case you have filtered more than you need, you can select which ones you want to do. I'm going to select all and hit next. It'll ask you to choose the operation. We're gonna hit move issues here, move issues to new projects and issue types. Next again, it'll say where we're moving from, the moving fields test to, and we're going to move that to the moving fields test other project. Um, the issue type is currently task. We'll go ahead and keep that as task, but as I said before, if this was custom, this would require to be changed. We can go ahead and click next. It says the task may have different field settings in your source project and the fields will be retained as the other uh, moving example demonstrated. We can also send mail for this update, but I'm not gonna do that. And then it's just confirming the changes here. The target project is the moving fields test. The target issue type is task and we will be affecting two issues with the task type. We'll go ahead and hit confirm. It's going to migrate these two issues, usually does it pretty quick. So I'll go ahead and hit refresh. Bulk operation 100% complete. Acknowledge. 
And now within our old query, within our old filter, we do not have the two issues. But if we filter by the new ish or the new project that we move the issues to, we will see test two and three. And now you have successfully moved issues between projects within Jira. Thank you for watching.